we're going to be using something called the K method. Now, in order to make sure that you don't miss this when you are in your exam, I'm going to show you a little trick. Let's pretend you didn't realize that this is actually a K method kind of question. Then how else could you have solved this? Well, you might have realized that um, there's a fraction, so we need a lowest common denominator. So we could say that the lowest common denominator is x squared plus 3x plus 2. Or you could even factorize it if you wanted it, if you wanted to do that. All right. Now, technically, each of these are over 1. So you would need to multiply them with the common denominator. So you would, let's just look at this first one. This first one, you would have to multiply by x plus 2 and x plus 1. And then the bottom would be x plus 2 and x plus 1. So let's just stop right there. Can you see that if you had to go and multiply this together, you would end up with an x to the power of 4. Now here is my advice. If you reach x to the power of 4, you have gone too far. So we've gone too far. So we go back to the beginning. And all that we need to do is check this out. Have a look here. You can see that this part is exactly the same as that part. There's a repetition over there, okay? So what we do is we say let x squared plus 3x, let's call that a different letter. Now for some reason, these weird mathematicians, they've gone and chosen k. That's why we call it the k method. So there's nothing special about the letter k, they just decided to do that, okay? Haha. <laughs> so moving on. So we know that that is now going to be replaced with k. So that's going to be k plus 7 equals to 6 over k plus 2. See what I've done there? I've just replaced the x squared plus 3x with k. Now I can solve this like a normal equation where there's a fraction. So the lowest common denominator here would be k plus 2. And so this one is over 1 and this one is over 1. So we're going to have to do k multiplied by k plus 2. It's like getting a lowest common denominator like we normally did in the previous questions. All right, you see that. So now that the denominators are all the same, we know that we can cancel those out. And so I'm just going to multiply the k in, but we won't get a k to the power of 4. So we happy because we don't want to get that. Now we're just going to solve for k, pretending that it looks like it's the same as x. So I'm going to bring this 6 over. And so that would give us k squared plus 9k plus 8. Now this can easily be factorized as k plus 8 and k plus 1. So therefore k is minus 8 and k is minus 1. But now we're not done, guys. You've just gone and found k, but you haven't yet found x. But what you do now is you must remember the following. We did this earlier on, so now we can use that. So let's start with the first one where k is minus 8. So we can say if k is equal to minus 8, then I'm going to plug that in over here. So we're going to get x squared plus 3x equals minus 8. Now we just solve this as per normal. So we bring that 8 over like that. And now we solve. Now I'm just going to use the quadratic formula. Because it's nice and easy. Oh, and we actually get no solution over there. That's pretty awkward or no, it's anticlimactic. So we just say no solution for that one. Then you're going to use the uh, minus 1. So you say if k equals minus 1, then you're going to plug that in over here. So we're going to say x squared plus 3x equals to negative 1. You then bring it over. And then we go use the quadratic formula again. Ah, this one has answers. So we can say that x is equal to negative 0, 0,38 or x equals to negative 2, 6, 2. And so there we go, guys. That's our first K-method question in this worksheet.